All right, guys. Well, as I've mentioned, and as we had a post a few days ago on the page, it was something that we were talking about was a, a plant called horsetail. Uh, it's got many, many uses. The, some of the bigger uses of this plant are for medicinal properties that the plant holds. But also those same medicinal properties are also things that we can utilize more utilitarian purposes for. So I've spent a lot of time looking lately about these primitive skills that are out there. These, these skills that were kind of even pre-Native uh, uh, American type of uh, mindset, more back into the caveman, I guess, style of uh, mindsets. Well, horsetail, this is a small sample that I have here, is a very high silica-based plant. So why is that important? Well, silica is good to ease things like joint pain, arthritis pain. Uh, those, those type of ailments, I could utilize the stalk of this plant, put it in some warm water and make a tea out of it and utilize that tea to ease some of those ailments. Well, it's the interesting fact that the silica that's within this plant is also good for something else. So if I simply allow it to dry, after I've harvested some of this, I get something that looks similar to this. Well, now I have a natural sandpaper. Why is that important? Well, if we're making things like arrow shafts uh, out of locally harvested plant life, uh, whatever that is, there's many, many different ways to do it, or atlatls, or even if we find ourselves needing to carve a spoon, a lot of us don't typically think about carrying things like sandpaper in a bag with us. This plant, however, could make a very good sandpaper, a natural sandpaper, to do those type of things with. So that's why horsetail is something that you want to familiarize yourself with and find it. Well, I found this actually growing on the campus that I work for. Good thing about my campus is it's a medical university, so a good majority of all the plants, shh, don't tell anybody this because most don't figure it out, all the plants that they plant throughout the campus all are very medicinal in nature. Horsetail is a prime example of that. We do have a few doctors on the campus that are actually looking at those things and trying to see what it is about these lost knowledges, this lost knowledge base of things like this that are out there growing natural for people to just take and then kind of get the big money pharmacy companies out of the picture. Anybody can do this. This isn't a big rocket science issue. So while I'm out in the woods, if I have something I've carved and I've made from natural materials, I can utilize horsetail as another natural material and utilize it as a sandpaper type product for the whatever it is that I've carved. You'll see that there's a ridge line here. I just want to simply utilize against that ridge line and it makes a very fine grit sandpaper. So now if I've carved a spoon instead of having to deal with splinters or anything like that that I may get within uh, that, that product that I've made, whatever that product is, I have a way now naturally that I can utilize a material that's come straight from Mother Earth and utilize that to make this item that I've created easier to use, make it a little bit easier on me, and give myself something to actually cherish that I've made from the land. So horsetail is a plant of many opportunities. We know that it's a medicinal. We also know that it's got some utilitarian purposes to it. I could just as easily utilize horsetail, which was actually done to make arrow shafts smoother. So as I draw the bow across my hand, I'm not impacting my hand with a bunch of splinters, which would be a possibility depending on the material that you have chosen for the wood. So horsetail is definitely something that you want to try to identify, make sure that you know where to find it and when to find it. Even if it's an old grove stand, you may be able to find some laying about that is already naturally dried out, so you have it to use. Very high in silica, and there's many, many things that we can do with that plant. That's all I have time for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed a quick tip talking about horsetail today. Learn to identify it, find out many uses of it for yourself. And until I see you next time, have a great day, guys.
Thank you for everything that you've done for me and for my family here at Two Feather Survival. I'll see you soon. Thank you.